Good morning all. Um, thank you for joining me this Saturday morning. Let's get a few hellos in first. Morning Gerard, morning Tony Reese. morning Brian Rendell, morning Jason, morning Jaster, Ken, CG. Uh, early birds, again, choosing which way our feet are where. Early birds, catch the mega table. A little bit of bright yellow today. Morning Derek. Um, Right, as I say, just going to try and do a, a, quite a few of these going forward over the next couple of months. Just, And all I'm trying to do here is give you different ways that you can use the Megaton. I'm not saying you have to use it like this. I'm trying to cover lots of different ways. I'm not saying that I use every single one of these ways every single week. Morning, Andy. Lovely to see you, Sam. Um, but just get you thinking about how to use it, the power of it, um, what to do. So doing them live, obviously, on a Saturday morning, I'll be honest, I've done absolutely zero prep for this this morning. I've been, there's quite a bit of football, obviously, been under a bit of pressure. So I've literally just set this up. Um, but I've got an idea in mind of what we'll look at. But it could be an absolute disaster. Um, uh, and Tony, thank you for email reproduction of the videos. I will get back to you on it. Um, my first uh, and only concern at the minute is getting people out using this stuff um, and using it with some logic and that's all we're going to focus on today morning rod morning john b so right let's get started so we have our fts advanced pre-match sheet morning alan and also feel free to ask any questions um as we go uh while i'm on it can tell how prepared i am i did a in play tool um live session midweek and that should be up on the website I will do a mega table specific one and a heat map specific one in the first week of um, March. So they'll just go on that. That's literally a QA and a on that tool. And they will go on the website for you guys to refer back to. But I'm going to do as many of these. Um, March onwards, I really want to get into the in-play stuff. Um, but we're going to focus on the mega table today and the pre-match sheet. And one of the things, obviously, I've got the luxury I'm, I'm married 20 odd years, kids have left. Uh, it's me and Sam. She's doing her thing. Um, whatever she's doing today, I don't know. She's making clothes uh, up in her little uh, craft room. And I am going to be trading football and walking the dog. So I have the luxury of sitting here and going through a whole day's fixtures and thinking that's what I want to do. A lot of people are limited for time, don't want to do it all day, and do just want to go about um, perhaps finding a time when well i can do what i want on saturday but i'll trade this evening so what i'm going to do is pick a time slot um which is this is really how i started when i started operating trading to stop me again evidence to stop me sitting here all day just trading every game while well, these tools are absolutely fantastic if you try and use them all day long um you will end up you could find a bet in every single game. So everything with me is about getting down to shortlists. So I'm going to I'm going to do what we could build a time specific shortlist, literally using the pre match sheet and the mega tables and nothing else. Uh, morning, Steve. Morning, Paul. Morning, Gaz. Uh, I'm just going to hide that down there. I've just got some bits here. Again, as always, I'll be diving from screen to screen. Um, I'm assuming everybody can see and hear me. Uh, I've just got a not responding on my Excel. We'll let that clear itself up. Right, there we go. So I'm going to pick a time slot. So I'm going to avoid the three o'clock because it's all championship and league one. So I'm going to say, right, let's assume I've got to go out for the day uh, and I know I can't do anything in daytime, but I can trade from, let's say, six o'clock onwards. So I'm just going to select times now and instantly I'm going to go from six o'clock onwards. That is going to be my only focus. So I'm going to focus here from 6 o'clock to 8.30. And that's my time. And now I've only got, well, we've got 18 games left. Um, but I don't want to just sit down at 6 o'clock like most people do and go, oh, it's 2 nil there. I'm going to lay another goal or whatever it may be. I'm going to go about it with some logic and say, right, I want to trade between 6 o'clock or well, 6 o'clock onwards tonight. Done everything I need to do. Um, are, are there any opportunities? That's all I want to find. Are there anything that makes any logic and any opportunities? So I'm going to start. I tend to focus. Somebody's asked me midweek, which model do I prefer to use? I prefer to use the six game model purely because that's what's happening recently. So you will tend to find and I'll go back to my team Spurs um, back end of last season. They were beating teams 3-0, 4-0, 5-0 and uh, 
and then it and then it dried up. But they had that period where they were just getting a load of goals. So I tend to like that when you you land on those spells with teams, and it's all team and goal specific. The calculations, remember. Um, and then obviously you can back it up with the season stuff as well. But my first port of call when I'm looking at goals will usually be the six game model. Just um, that's a preference for me. So I going to start just with value so again all i'm going to do now is i've got these games and all i'm going to do i'm going to ignore anything that's negative value and i'm just going to whack it in in bands you can do it in bands of five bands of ten or whatever i'm going to do it in bands of ten because we haven't got a lot of games i don't want to get it down to that so i'm going to say right i want to trade at six o'clock tonight but i only want to look at games and i'm just starting with the first half goal model so I'm looking at price on first off goal, six games where I've got value between 0, 01 and 10. So that gives me three games there. And all I'm going to do is go to my mega table, which is bang up to date. Um, we're on first half goal value. We're on uh, the six game model. And we're between 0, 01 and 10. So I've set my value low to 0, 01, my value high to 10. I've included all odds. And then all I need to do is go to my advanced pre-match. I've got French League 2, Swiss Super League, and Italian Syria. Is there anything in there, in that setup, that looks like it might interest me? French League 2, no surprise. Absolute bag of nails. You'd want to be a layer rather than a backer. I'm just going to look at stuff we can back today. Um, I will do a session on laying um, sometime. But you can see French League 2, 27th, 25th, 27th, 27th. We can bin that one off. What were the other two? Swiss Super League and Italy. Swiss Super League, nothing again. Yeah, we're seventh in both teams to score, yes, but only three points. Not for me. I told you this could be a damn squib. Um, and the other one is, daily uh, advanced pretty much, sorry, is Italian Serie A, Lazio. So Italian Serie A. Again, nothing really there. So I've done the done the first half goal, not interested. What I will do now is I will just switch off that filter there and see is there anything between 10.01 and 20. So I've done 0.01 to 10, so I'll go 10.01 to 20. So I'm just, again, only looking at the game 6 o'clock onwards. 10.01 to 20, I've got... French League 2 again, German Bundesliga, Dutch Eredivisie. Go to my mega table, change my value. So I'm looking at 10.01 to 20. And we've got, oh, here we go. Now this looks handy. Was it German Bundes? So German Bundesliga 2, French League 2, German Bundesliga 2, Eredivisie. Right, French League 2, doesn't matter what the value is, absolute. Carsey. Uh, Right, so German Bundesliga 2 ranked first in um, over 1.5, ranked ninth in over 2.25, fifth in both teams to score, yes, third in first half goals, second in first half goal, 1.5. So I'm going to start, I would start with the first half goal personally. Um, just let's see if we can just get one goal, and all I'll do is just check a quick info just to get a quick read out on that. So there's been 92 bets. That 12% ROI, that's what the 0.012 is, uh, 11 points in 92 games. And we know that we're going to have 92 games over here as well. 92 games, about 14% ROI. So those are the two markets that interest me there. Those are the first half goal and the 0.5. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to start to hold myself a little day sheet. I'm going to do it completely from scratch for you. There you go. So I'm going to grab that there. Copy. File. New blank workbook. We're just going to build a little day sheet up. Uh, let's paste in the width. There we go. And then I can go and grab that game, which was that one. There. Whack it in my day sheet. And then I just want to put information. I just like information. I like to know why I'm doing something. So it was 10.01 value. So I'm going to pop that in there. Value, 10.01 to 20. What markets do I like the look of? 
first half goal, you could do market like that, or you can you could slash it and put 1.5 if you wanted to. So I'm just looking and talking at the same time. So you could do it like that. What I actually tend to do is I'll go first half goal there. So I'm just trying to look at the camera, do this market one, and if I've got a second market, I'll just put that in there. There, market two, 1.5. So that would be my two markets. I've just taken that game. I've made why I've picked it. So value 10.01 to 20. It's in the first half goal markets, uh, two and a half market rather. First half goal market rather, first half goal and 1.5 are the two markets I'd look at. If you wanted to, you can put another one in there. Again, as much column, as much as you want. Uh, value column. And I can say that is FHG six games. So I know where I'm looking. I know what model it is. So I'm just building up a sheet. I mean, well, we've been on air 10 minutes. We've got a game to trade tonight. Um, you know, and you can do all this in the morning. Go back to my sheet. And we had Dutch Error de VC as well. Go back to the mega table and have a look. Dutch Error de VC down here. As suspected in Holland, nothing, reason being the market knows there's goals, so tends not to be. So I've out of doing that so far, all I've found there is one game to trade where I would do first half goal. How would I trade it personally? I'd do first half goal 20 minutes on. If it got to half time at nil nil, that's when I'd enter the 1.5 market. You can enter it from the start, you could do whatever you like. What I'll do then is clear that one down. So I'm clearing my filter in the there, I'm still back to all my six o'clock games, but now I'm going to shift and I'll do the two and a half value. You can do the one and a half, whatever you want, but I'm going to do the two and a half. I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm just going to go between 0.01 and 10 in the 2.5 value. See what I've got now. I've got Basel, Italy, Serie A, Segunda, French League One, Dutch Era, the BC, Portugal, Primera. Go back to my sheet. Remember now I've changed the value column I'm looking at. I'm looking at 2.5. I can change that to 0 0.01 and 10. And then again, I'll just work through my league. So I have got, what have I got? Swiss, Italy and Segunda. So go down to the Swiss. Have a look, Swiss, back over 3.5 is top ranked. So there's one that you may want to put on your list. Let's have a look at it. 20 points, 74 games, 20 points, 28% ROI. It would be churlish to not look at it, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to take that, copy it, put it into my day sheet. Oh, I didn't get it. Hold on a second. You can see live, live on air. I didn't grab the old lot. Chrissy would be telling me to do this with keys. And we're looking at the 2.56 gain. We are 0.01 to 10. And oh, I can do it quick from me. I'm good then. 0.01 to 10. And we're looking at the three, oh, 3.5. So that just goes on my list. And I go back down to my pre-match. So we've done the Swiss. So we've got Italy, Spain, and Segunda. Uh, Italy, Segunda, and France. Sorry, go back to my mega table. Segunda. Both teams to score. Yes, you could look at it. It's not a bet I like, so I'm not going to put it in. It's not a bet that I'm a fan of. Um, I've mentioned that many times. Italy, Syria. So here we go. Top in first half goal again in the top 10 in 1.5. So let's have a look at that. And all I'm looking here, I'm checking it's not like a thousand games to make that. So we're just looking and seeing. We've got 160 games, 6% ROI, 9.6 points. And remember, I'm looking to trade. So Italy, Syria, that game goes on my list. So I go back to my pre match sheet, grab that. this one. Anybody gives me stick for production methods, we'll whack them. Right, so I'll whack that in there. This is all the same because I haven't moved it, so I can do that and that. And it's the same markets as there. So I've now got that there. 
and that there. So I'm just building up a nice little list now, 7.30 to 7.45. can eat my dinner at 6. Tea for those of you up north. Um, right, so we've got down to Italy. We're not Spain, French League 1, Dutch Euro, the BC and Portugal. Segunda. Mm, yeah, both teams to score. Um, Portugal was 1. 506 fifth, but nothing in the 1.5. See, I like the 1.5 as well. So if we get to nil nil, we can have the cover. So I would leave that alone personally. Dutch error to VC and French League One go up the top. French League One, absolute car crash. Dutch error to VC. Again, both teams to score. First half goal is not bad there, so we'll have a look at that. But again, we've got negative there. But I will have a look at the first half goal. This is one where, being Holland, I would just might play it really late. So 106, 7% ROI points there. What I would do with that, literally, that would be a game where I would have a one-off if it was nil-nil, sort of 35 minutes onwards, and I could get in at really low risk. So I'm going to whack that on my list. Go to my pre-match sheet. Grab that. Dutch error to VC game. Copy. And I'm just building out, building out a lot of games there. Same there. Control C. Control V. I'm interested in first half goal. If you build one of these sheets, I've, I've got one. I'm just showing you from scratch. You could have, if you go to the World Cup, you can have data validation. So you can just click it and the market will drop down. Your value, values are dropped down. We are looking to do some Excel stuff for you guys. Um, and all I'll do then is I'll add one more column, notes. And I'll just put there, late FHG only. So that's how I would want to trade that. If the goal goes in early, I'm not interested. I'm really talking 35 minutes onwards. If it's nil-nil, I can get in really low risk. That's how I would play that game personally. Um, so that's those done on that bracket. And then we just will change the bracket to 10.01 to 20. Between 10.01 to 20. So this is just different for those people. I know a lot of people just like to standardise everything. Everybody wants to be, I've, I just want a system and that's it. Whereas actually you can sit any time and do this in a time window um, when you're free and you are start, you'll start to make, one, you'll start to make profitable trades, but you'll start to make trades with a reason as well, as opposed to just sitting there. Oh, there's been eight attacks there. Right, so we've got French League 2, Spanish Primera, where we've got 10.01 to 20. Go back to my mega table. Change this now to 10.01 for the low number, to 20 to there. We have Spain Primera, Spanish Primera, absolute car crash, not interested, horrible. And the other one was French League 2. I kind of got an idea before we look. French League 2. There you go, see? And there'll be people who trade these French League 2 games. There'll be people who are just trying to bat away and beat a market that you can show. Look, doesn't matter what one you go in, uh, just because that's on at 6 o'clock and that's the football that's on. So I would literally leave it there and then I will just filter those. Go to sort and filter, put a filter on. Sort them, they're actually in time order, but I'll just sort them, sort A to Z, so they sort by time. And that is how I would now work through, and obviously I can see I don't need to worry about 6 o'clock. I can come and sit down at sort of 7.30. I'm not going to play the first half goal till 20 minutes, so I can get myself all set up, get Bat Angel up, get my football 24, and I can sit and trade, and I would literally late, sort of 20 minutes onwards, first half goal there for nil-nil at half time, 1.5. Over three and a half there at Basel, depending on what the price was, I'd probably drip that in the first 10 minutes, just trade on goals. Object being get my liability out as quickly as possible. That would be the same as the Heidenheim Hamburg game. And this one would purely be, um, particularly if I'd had a good day and I'd won a bit here, I would literally have a bet at, right at the end of the first half on that game. Um, and if it was nil-nil at half time, I'd leave it because the 1.5 figures weren't very good. So that is how you can just take a session, filter it by time. That's what suits me. So you're not rushing around. I can work between whatever it may be. You might do 12.30 till 2. Good lady wants to go shopping or whatever it may be. Or the kids need to go trampolining, um, whatever. Um, 
So you can filter your time, work through the value bands. I tend to use first half goal and 2.5. You could use first half goal 1.5. You can use 1.5, 3.5, whichever one you want. But all I'm trying to do, everything about me, is build up a logical shortlist of what I'm going to try. Now, exactly what I'm going to do. If I sat down at 7.30 tonight without looking at anything else, that is all I need. I know exactly what I'm going to do this evening as opposed to, oh, there's some football on, let's have a punt, what should we do? Oh, yeah, Grenoble, uh, I fancy them, they haven't scored for a bit, and just sitting throwing money away. And I had a session, funny enough, one person in here just talking about one of the biggest things that they've done is stop having stupid bets and this, that and the other. And um, this is how you stop that. And then you start making educated bets. You know you're making them in value. You know, you know that they generate profit. Um, and you build yourself a really simple list. Right, any questions? Sorry, it's all a bit rushed, and sorry I wasn't overly prepared, but that's how live that's how live TV goes. The difference with the guys who make YouTubes to sell stuff and do all that shit is they're sitting there using all day long uh, trying to do it. Rod has asked, let's see, I like this feature that you can bring the question in. Uh, Rod has asked, would you ever use negative value if showing profit in the negative? Yes, you could do whatever bands you would. There are stuff that is, there is negative values that do work. And as I said, you can look at the lay side as well. There's some great, these sheets, you know, I said it on the in-play one the other night. This There's some great stuff on the lay side. I tend to focus these for the minute on goals because people want to find goals um but we will get to where we talk about lays and negative values but absolutely you know i i've, I've done a shortened down you may want to start at minus 20 and go to plus 50 whatever it may be um but it's the fact that i'm sitting making a logical list of matches with a clear trading plan you know thing i've talked about in pods i know exactly i know exactly what i'm going to do um this evening um based on what I've just shown you there. Anyone else? Anyone else? Love the simplicity and logic. Thank you. Look, praise from Aguna. Excellent. Many thanks, Guna. There. Thank you. Cheers, Ken. Oh, very smart, Ken. Little picture. Look, he's got his suit on. Nice head. Look at that. Look at that. Full head of hair. Full head of hair. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Like, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like it. Alan. How do I get, I don't need to tell you this, surely. We've been banging on about this for weeks. Um, if you haven't had anything, email support at FTS Income. Dave's been doing all the mailing out. So uh, email support at FTS Income and Dave will get you, um, point you in the right direction. It's all on the website under FTS Advanced. Fortunately, I don't have anything to do with that stuff now. So this is what I want to do is get out and show you how to use it and make some cash. Anybody else? You've all made that. You've all copied that. You see how easy it is just to make a day sheet. You save that as your master. Off you go. But particularly for people, if you're stretched on time or you want to limit a low, limit your sitting, you know, sit. One of the worst things you can do in this game, particularly if you're not super disciplined and you all all know your own, is just sit there letting football tick by. Because one of the temptations there to do it, to get involved or oh, hang on I'm, or or if you lose a game the temptation to chase all those things now i can just sit there and do exactly what i want to do can i apply this to pga i'm not sure what you mean there my little friend a bit more are you took pga are we talking golf excel question to put them in time order did i filter a to z yes i did yeah so you just go in there just sort a to z and it'll put them in the in the time order. If you do Z to, Z to A, it puts the latest at the top. So yeah, just sort A to Z, column B. Uh, can you apply it to the goal? Uh, not, I'll, let's do Tony's one. But can I apply this to the golf? Well, not really. One, I haven't got the data like this for the golf, but golf, you, you could, but it's it's finding a time span. Um, it's oh, we'll just have a little. We've just had they're live in the studio. Stuff falling down and breaking now. Um, golf, golf is a you got to do it all pre-event or in the event with a different thing. Can I show again how I hide columns? If you're hiding columns, you just right click and hide, and you can unhide. If you want to keep your matches there, one of the easiest things that 
particularly if you get something like this pre-match sheet, so you can see as I'm doing stuff, this is, Alistair does it now, but there, we as I scroll along, the match stays where it is, and that's purely done. That's done with the view and freeze panes. So view, freeze panes, you can unfreeze. And now as I scroll, the game will disappear, which is not what you want. So you just, if you click, if you, I use column G, um, and just click freeze panes, everything then will go from where you want. But if there's stuff that you don't want to see, just select it all. So I think, well, I'm not going to use that. And click hide, and it all disappears. Um, right, let's get back to this. On Mega Table, would there be capability to view with match odds bands? Hold on a second, I'm still hiding all that. Uh, this one here, let's get this up. Show on Mega Table, well, there'll be capability with match odds bands and the positive and negative the home match odds, not plus naught to 10 first half goal value. Uh, no, we would have to completely rebuild the Mega Table to do that. Um, it's yeah, the art, the art, the answer is the Mega Table as it is. No, and I am not looking to change the tools, uh, you know, particularly just having got them in people's hands. Um, to do that i i use them for the goal markets i mean you can anything of course you can do once you've done it on here you can then filter it on the front sheet you can go to the data sheet filter that bit so you can do six game value 1001 to two and then just go through the odds band yourself um using column whatever the home odds column is uh they're at the end aren't they so using column bx there so you can do it that way Uh, show. Do you still use the regular plus and sheet? I think I completely, Klaus, I've completely replaced it with this. So basically this was, um, and Klaus is talking about, I used to, I, I basically used to have to get databases, get a day of match sheets and Chris Tiger spreadsheets. Chris built me a calculator that used to bring it all together and basically output some of this info. Uh, no, Klaus, this is solely what I use now. I've, I switched to a full sheet about 18, 19 months ago and we've just been but getting it better and better and getting it to a stage where we can get it out to you for everybody and it's quick to use. That's the, one of the key things. So everything I do now is off here. Right, it is oh, 9, 9, uh, 29, 10 o'clock. Um, right, I'm going to leave it with you. If you can, like and subscribe. I don't know what that does, but it apparently it helps us. Um, so if you can like, I genuinely don't know what it does, like, subscribe, click the, click the bell icon, Andy. Um, as I say, I'll keep doing this. I'm going to try and do one every Saturday. I'm not saying I will. Uh, there, I am going away next week, so there probably won't be one next Saturday. I'm going to go away with the good lady on Thursday before she has uh, her op early March. Um, but March onwards, I am stuck indoors because she can't walk anywhere. Um Hopefully, you know, this is another way you can use it. As I say, what you the, the key to all of this is you've got to find what suits you. But my fear is that people will sit and try and do far too much when you can actually, same old rules, keep it simple, stupid. And I do like trading in sessions. I do like going right because you can give it your full focus. You're not going to be disturbed. You know, right, Sam, I'm going to do between six o'clock and eight o'clock tonight. I can sit here and do it. Um, and you know you can go about your day. So it was just more sort of for those of you on busy Saturdays, this is a good way just to find some trades for you um, using two really simple sheets. All right, I will leave you to it. I will cut off. Um, any questions, feel free to ask, email support, put them in the Telegram room and I'll ask. Um, uh, if you click the bell, you get an email notification when I'm doing a video. It's useful, right? Click the bell, everybody. Click the bell. Um, and as I say, yeah, we'll, we'll do a load more of these going forward. Thank you all for coming on this morning. Much appreciated. I know it was a little bit scrappy, but it's going to be like that because I'm doing it all on the go. Um, and I will speak to you all in the week. Take it easy. Bye.